May's baptism into sailing took place out of Mooloolaba. Zach was keen to show off his newly acquired sailing skills after his boot camp sail to Fraser Island from Harvey Bay. Casting off into the Mooloola River, Zach went about making things shipshape as we cruised past the commercial fishing fleet on the northern side and luxury waterfront mansions to the south of us. Mooloolaba is a city on the Sunshine Coast in southeast Queensland. October is the perfect time for sailing, with low humidity and temperatures in the mid-twenties. Many cruising yachts overnight in the security of the Malula Basin, known as the Duck Pond, some heading north, others making their way south again after overwintering in the tropical paradise of the Whitsundays and exploring the Great Barrier Reef. Zach and May are staff at the School of Biblical Studies based in Bundrum. During the school, students work, study and live in a close-knit community of fellow students who are on a journey through the Bible together. A number of the students and staff have shown an interest in learning to sail and I've had a great time showing them the ropes. They've also been very willing to pitch in in the restoration of Mozart. We are encouraging more young people from all different walks to learn to sail because it's a great way to develop character and build relationships while having a lot of fun on the water. Our fleet includes Mozart, a lovingly restored 40-year-old classic plastic trailer sailor, and Moonlight, a 12-foot classic timber cruising dinghy. And we're soon welcoming another experienced sailor who also has a trailer sailor to the team. I guess that means we'll be racing each other, which is inevitable once you get two sailboats on the water together. We cleared Point Cartwright at around 8am and the plan is to sail over to Majimba Island in the fresh breeze. The headsail is flopping around from side to side in the slop, so we decide to pile it out to the port side so that we can run goosewing downwind to the island. Once set, we're making a healthy five to six knots on the run. It's time for May's first lesson in how to trim the sails. She's keen to learn and it's not long before her head is swimming with nautical terms. first time I took hold of a twitchy helm on a little manly junior in a stiff breeze when I was learning to sail. It's not long before May gets her first experience of being in control of a sailboat and she gets the idea of how to maintain the heading quicker than a lot of new sailors. It helps to have Zach at her side as her patient instructor.
We're given the privilege of sailing alongside spray of the coral coast for a short while. At 100 years since her keel was laid, Spray of the Coral Coast is the oldest surviving replica of Joshua Slocum's original spray. She's available for private charter and cruises on the river on the Sunshine Coast. You can find her at saltwatereco-tours.com.au. The original spray was famously used by Joshua Slocum to become the first person to circumnavigate the globe single-handed, covering more than 46,000 miles between April 1895 and June 1898. The only instruments Slocum had were a cheap clock and a sextant, a far cry from the technological complexity of today's ocean sailors. Dancing all around. I woke up with a sunrise on the sea. Such a precious gift to me. The salty breeze and the waves. The slow pace. The salty breeze and the waves. I'm out of our place. also known as Majimba Island, is a popular place for snorkelling and spearfishing. It's about five nautical miles south of the mouth to the Malula River. Legend has it a battle of two men, Nindri and Coulomb, over a woman, Maruchi, with Nindri knocking off Coulomb's head, is what formed the island. Another story about an indigenous woman who lived on the island is believed to be behind the name Old Woman Island. The slow pace, the salty breeze, and the waves. No matter our place. Surrounded by the sea, my art is free. The 
salty breeze and the waves, the slow pace, the salty breeze and the waves, the matter I play. Skimming stones across To test the other side I am at a loss The river seems so wide And I want to tell the boy down deep inside you cannot hide <laughs> Relive all the pain It comes in with the tide I can't stand the rain If I reach the other side and I'm trying to find the courage in my heart To open my mind and There's a river A river, no bridge in sight And I'm swimming I'm swimming funny about that, Zach? Yeah, what is funny about that? <laughs> It's great to be alive And we will survive There's a river A river, no bridge inside And I'm swimming Swimming Yeah. <laughs>